Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It is free and it is easy. It is the subscribe button that you see that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns a lighter gray, you are in. It's that simple. There's also a bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It is called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for the support of the growth of this channel simply by subscribing, making sure to ring that bell, and not forgetting to do that thumbs up. Okay, guys, this is something new that I decided to sit down and do because, as you know, I enjoy being able to usually it's later in the evening, scroll through Instagram and TikTok and just see what's new or up and coming. And because we're getting close to the end of the year and I was waiting for some other information from the subscription box world, I do dabble in the retail world as well. And I share with you a lot of times when there's some big sales going on. But I also know that a lot of you, like me, like to kind of know what is coming up or what has just launched in the true retail world. So I decided to, and I share with you all the time, that a couple of the um, Instagrams that I started to follow when I actually started YouTube, because I wasn't on social media at all uh, until like four years ago. And Trend Mood is one of the uh, brands that I share at her box that is not a subscription box. And I share with you all the time that I follow her a lot as well as a couple of other uh, sites as well that are really good at getting some inside information of what's coming. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to sit down and share with you some of the things that are catching my eye. And I'd love to know in the comments, because we are a community here at True Ones, where we share information about the brands, the products, and of course the deals of what your thoughts are on some of these products. And maybe some have already come out that you've had the opportunity to try. So I'd love to know that as well. So it's going to be a mixture of things that, you know, that I, would put on my wants list but it's not everything that is either drugstore it's also some of it is just mainstream and then some is luxury as well so let's see what I put in my area that I keep my pictures of things that caught my eye and let's see if it catches yours as well so let's get started because we'll see how I set this up and we'll go through it that way all right the first picture is one that is the most recent and this one really caught my eye because if I have been enjoying Wear Beauty. I don't love everything because I'm not really into all the cream uh, blushes where a lot of the girls use that and everybody swears by it and it's great. But with makeup, everybody has what their preferences are. But when it comes to one of the things that I love to indulge in, it is body care. And this is going to be her new line that she's going to be creating and it is a body care line. And they're saying it on here that it says, it says find comfort body collection by rare beauty and they're saying there's going to be a body and hair fragrance mist that's going to be around 28 dollars they're saying it is a super fine fragrance mist that's infused with biotin niacinamide and peach flower and they're saying it will help to revitalize our body and our hair they're saying the notes on this is a lemon zest with rhubarb as well as pomelo and the middle is a jasmine petals violet and a black tea extract. And then the, the bottom notes are going to be where it dries down. It is going to be the vetiver with tonka beans and cashmere wood. So that I thought sounded really interesting. And they're saying it is going to be a lightweight nutrient infused body lotion that will hydrate up to 24 hours with a fresh non-greasy feel all while nourishing and softening the skin for a healthier, renewed glow. They're also saying there's going to be a hand cream in here that's going to be $18. They're also mentioning that it's going to be lightweight and fast absorbing, and it's going to be packed with loving ingredients to hydrate for up to 16 hours while nourishing and softening the skin with a fresh, non-greasy feel. There's also going to be what they're saying, a comfort stop and smooth aromatherapy pen. And that's going to be $20. And they're saying it is a weightless, fast absorbing gel that has a soothing peppermint and lavender scent that helps de-stress 
as well as decompress. So that I thought sounded amazing. And they're saying it's going to be available at, uh, I think, Sephora around the 18th of the month is when of December of 2023 is when I think they're launching it. And then they're saying they're going to launch it globally, uh, I think, right after Christmas. So that really caught my eye. And I thought that was really interesting. And to me, the packaging is what stopped me to begin with. And then when I started to read about it and saw it had all these really unique products like that pen that can help decompress, I thought that was really interesting. So that's how this ended up in my pictures. The next one is from uh, Mark Jacobs and his Daisy brand is one of my favorite um, summertime perfumes. It's in a clear bottle but it has also those daisies that are on top of it but he always comes out with new fragrances and a lot of them sometimes have also this theme that is from the daisy side and this one is going to be called So Fresh Pop. It's going to be a floral fruity bursting with fresh lemon, pear, and lime. It also will have a floral essence of velvety rose and a playful burst of a fruity raspberry and violet. And they're saying it will balance out using an earthy musk as well as a crystal moss and cedar wood. And those are all going to run around that $100 value. They're also going to have uh, another scent within this one here. So one is called Oh So Fresh Pop. And the other one uh, is called Love Pop. And that's going to be a woody gourmand. And that's going to have cloudberry and bergamot. And they're saying it also will have green pistachio, which I also know that um, one of the newest scents that came out from Huda Beauty uh, is also has that pistachio in it as well. So that seems to be a theme that we're I think we're going to start seeing in the new year. And then they have another one that's simply called the Daisy Mark Jacobs Pop. And that's going to be a floral citrus with that sparkling grapefruit. And they're saying it's also going to have the yuzu and hints of jasmine. And then also the undertones are going to be a warm, they're saying wood, as well as a soothing vanilla. And then again, they're mentioning this is going to be a limited edition uh, bottle that is a matte pink bottle with pops of purple, green and red inspired from the color block and distinctive textures featured throughout his entire fashion collection. So I thought that was really interesting as well. And then there was a new launch in the drugstore and it is from CoverGirl. And this one had a couple of things that I wasn't that familiar with, but when I had the opportunity to read some of the people that left comments, they're saying this is a possible dupe for a Chanel foundation because this is their new complexion and brow products. One is going to be the Skin Ageless Skin Perfecting Essence Foundation, and they're saying it's going to have micro, micro droplet technology, and it's going to be available in eight shades. Then they're mentioning also there's going to be a brow filter pomade brown pencil. Now I'm wondering the fact that this is only available in eight shades. I'm wondering when it says it has essence in there, that it's going to be more of like a skin tint. So I don't know about the coverage on this, but if you've had the opportunity to know anything about this, this really caught my curiosity as well. Then there was a brand that I'm not familiar with, so I figured I would share it in the community and you guys would be able to share with me if this is a brand that you're familiar with called Salt Air. They're saying it is a new uh, lip oil balm and there's so many lip oil balms that are coming out with now. And one of my newest uh, and favorite ones is from... I think Sunday Friday it's called and that one I'm really enjoying and that's what caught my eye with this packaging it reminded me of that and that I ended up getting in a fat fit fun box this one says it's going to be a conditioning lip oil that features a slippery cushioning balm fill they're saying it's formulated with coconut oil maru maru shea butter and also it's going to have plant derived esters they're saying this oil balm will nourish and hydrate dry lips and also it will have a coconut vanilla flavor and it's also going to have a very subtle sheen. They also said it's going to be available in clear, dragon fruit, toasted, and these are only $9. So if you're familiar with this, please make sure to share that in the comments down below because that really piqued my curiosity. They also mentioned earlier this week about the Pantone color of the season for 2024. And I am so happy about this. It is going to be a peach fuzz color and to me this is such a calming color and I love peach 
and you'll see when, you know, a lot of times when I was filming where you saw my makeup and all of that, uh, most of the time I'm wearing a peach colored or, you know, or something within for sure the blushes, but definitely the lips. I always seem to gravitate towards all of those type of colors. And to me, it is just beautiful. And they're saying it is a heartfelt peach hue, bringing the feeling of tenderness and communicating a message of caring, sharing and community. And I just thought that is just exactly what we all need with everything that's going on in the world. It's supposed to in, in balance and embrace your spirit, enrich your mind, your body and your heart. It is a warm and cozy shade. And they're saying and it, just everything about it just gives me that warm feeling. So I just wanted to share with you if you're into the Pantene colors, a lot of that is for the fashion industry, but it's also for the makeup industry as well. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot in reference to that. The next item here that I caught my eye was this one here. And this one is from Benefit Cosmetics and it's going to be their new uh, Whoop Lash Eye Serum. This currently is only available in Europe. And this one caught my eye, so I wanted to make sure to share that with you guys because usually a lot of things launch either in like um, in Europe or in Asia before it comes here. But I find a lot of times that's what I've been seeing, especially in the beauty magazines that I read. But this one, what was really interesting about it, it's give your lashes a healthier, more voluminous look in just six weeks. So this to me, and the wand, as you can see on the bottom picture here, it's a clear it's clear. And so then I realized this is something very different. It's going to be a it's going to be a special blend of plant extracts, rice proteins and vitamins that provide a powerful whoop to leave lashes looking full and feeling nourished. And then they're saying to always apply this just before bed. So I took a second uh, slide and this is the before and afters within 12 weeks now her lashes are already beautiful to me in the before but if you take a close look they definitely look like thicker as well as longer as well so this caught my eye and i wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it as well the other one is another brand that i really enjoy at the drugstore and it is milani and i shared with you when i started my channel Milani to me is one of the brands that it's available at the drugstore, but to me, it is really more like that mid-range where it's the prices kind of go mid-range. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive at the drugstore. But the quality of their products have always been ones that I was, when I started purchasing from the drugstore, was one of the brands that I always went to first. And this one is going to be their new Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. And this one is just, it's a lightweight, ultra blendable formula that gives effortless summer glow year round. It melts onto your skin, but you can also build the coverage. They're saying it is a soft matte finish that delivers a natural sun, gliss, sun kissed glow. And it's also infused with skin loving blend of nourishing oils and vitamin E and a micro size sphered powder that will help blur imperfections. And this is going to be $12.99. Then we have another one here that there's going to be so much buzz come January with Glow Recipe because this was actually sent to me through one of my friends on Instagram that shares with me a lot about Ipsy and she was the one that shared with me that she heard through the grapevine and that this was at the end of November that the uh, January edit box which on ipsy is a box that they do that is not a subscription it's available in the shopper but it's a one brand takeover and they're saying it's going to be glow recipe and as she was telling me that a couple of weeks later i saw this and it really surprised me so we sent pictures to each other about this and every product that glow recipe comes out with i get so excited about this is going to be their new cloudberry brightening essence toner and they're saying it's going to be a powerful essence toner that brightens and evens your complexion, reducing the appearance of hyperpigmentation while hydrating and softening dull dehydrated skin from visibly enhanced radiance. It's going to be a multitasking formula that also works as a serum booster. And you can use it as your first step right after you cleanse to maximize the absorption and then the visible benefits of the rest of your routine. This is going to run around $38. And they're saying it is a concentrated cloudberry. And they're saying that it's also packed with vitamin C and E, 
CoQ enzyme Q10, which is a powerful high biocompatible antioxidant that visibly strengthens your skin. It also has gl uh, glycerin at 5%, rice water, and that will also help seal in the moisture, hydrate, and nourish your skin. And this is going to be available around uh, within the within this week. So I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that as well. Then there is another new launch from Too Faced. Now there was another launch that I'm going to share a second picture of that I put on my wants list first, and then this one surprised me because this is they're putting it within their I guess better than sex type of mascara because of the wand is why I'm saying that. But they're saying this is going to be um, part of that line. But this one is going to be, it says, naturally better than sex mascara. So if the better than sex mascara, which I think is a fantastic mascara, gives you too much, but you want more of that natural look, then the next picture that I'm going to show you is the other ones that they have added to the line. So the first one that's in the black tube is the one that uh, really intrigued me because that to me is the primer and they're calling it foreplay. And then we have the next one, which is the one I just showed you the picture of, which is the naturally better than sex. sex. And then we have the original, the waterproof, and then they had a chocolate formula that I didn't even know about. So the one that is brand new, the one in the pink tube, is a volumizing, lengthening, curl, and conditioning with a mascara that delivers 100% sexy lashes with a 98% naturally derived formula that's formulated with bamboo fibers and a gooey berry blend. The hourglass shaped brush separates and coats each lash with their intense black formula. And this is going to run around that $30, uh, $30 price tag. And this, of course, is part of the Too Faced brand, which is a cruelty free brand. And they saying keep your eyes open because this is going to be coming soon. The next one that I want to share with you is the other picture that, as you can see, her lashes are already beautiful in the before, but how this actually just almost grows them. I just thought it really was a beautiful... The, the before is the true natural, and then there's our enhanced natural no makeup makeup look, which is what this reminded me of. So I thought that was really, really beautiful. So I wanted to share that with you. There were a couple of others that I wanted to share as well. And then there were some that she launched that didn't catch my eye, so it didn't make my camera roll. But this one did. This one is from Milani, and this one is their new product that is going to be called the Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. And that's another thing that we're seeing a lot of. Right now, we're seeing a lot of lip oils. Then we started to see, and I have it in this camera roll too, which I will share with you, about um, these plumpers are coming out, and they're coming out strong. But to me, they're a little too intense for me to appreciate the benefits of it, but I know a lot of people must love it if even Drugstore is coming out with them now. But the lip stains is also really right now on trend, and this is going to be a new product that is from Milani as well, and this is called their Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. It's made with hydrating rich hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene. It also has a cushioning high comfort formula that applies with a glossy shine that will transfer into a semi-matte tint as it dries down. They're saying it is lightweight, non-drying formula. It's not sticky and delivers up to eight hours of that staying power that will hydrate and comfort wear. And they're saying it also has a pointed doe fit applicator that will give you a precise application for a soft matte look. They're saying blot the lips after the application for a more bold, glossy look, then apply that second coat. And then you can always just keep applying until you get that intensity that you want to reach. These are going to be around $13.99 each. And they're running from bright pink to mauve to browns to berries to reds. So I thought that was really interesting. And I wanted to share that one with you as well. Then I have another one here. And there was some information about that Kylie came out with a lip liner that looked very similar to the Makeup Forever one. So that I didn't put on the camera roll because I already have the Makeup Forever. And I saw that when she did some more information on it, it might have been less expensive, but it also was a lot less of the formula that was in the actual uh, Makeup Forever one. Here's another product that is from Too Faced. 
And this one is their new Kissing Jelly Ultra Nourishing Non-Sticky Lip Oil. And they're saying it is going to be a lip oil and a gloss as a hybrid. They're saying this glossy lip oil formula hydrates with natural oils and leaves a hint of tint, giving you instant hydration of a lip oil with the candy shine of a lip gloss. These are going to run $22. And it seems that they have, they're saying a it's the color with a bit of pearl in it or it's gonna have the electric color, which means it's gonna be very vibrant. So they're saying the pink will have a pearl. There's one that's called bubble gum. There's one that's called grape soda. That's gonna be a purple with the pearl. And then pina colada, that is gonna be clear with the pearl. And then they have raspberry, which is gonna have the electric fuchsia, sour watermelon with the electric pink, and then sweet cotton candy, that's gonna be a cool mint blue. So I thought that was really interesting as well. Then we have another new launch from Sole de Janeiro, and this I started to see about a month ago, and now I'm starting to see it a lot more. And this is going to be, they're saying it's a, a new scent has been unlocked. It is going to be the new products is called Dalicia Drench. And this one here, they're saying it's going to have the Brazilian Crush, which means it's going to be that spray. That runs around $38, and it's a mist. So if you, and I always recommend this, because this is, I've been doing this for years. If you have a moisturizer, and it comes with a matching mist, when you put the moisturizer on, and then you put the mist over it, you kind of lock in the scent, and it seems to last a lot longer than using one or other on their own. And then they are also going to have a body butter that's going to be $48. And their body butters are always fantastic. I find them very moisturizing. I find they are just, their scents on their brand, I got introduced to it through a BoxyCharm box in the orange container, the one that everyone calls the Boom Boom or the Bum Bum Cream. This one is going to have notes of vanilla or uh, orchid. It's going to have a, a sugared violet, and it's also going to have sandalwood. So they're saying that's going to be coming out in January. Then I have some other ones. That was another one that was in my camera roll, which was this one. And that was, I think, the first one that I started seeing these... Um, tints that were in these pen formula and I'm seeing it on also on TikTok a lot but not all from CoverGirl so it means a lot of brands are going to be coming out with this. This is the Outlast Lip Stain by CoverGirl and they're saying it is a smooth application precise pen like tip. It's going to be transfer proof, kiss proof, satin stain finish with buildable color. They're going to be lightweight and the brand of that the section of the brand that's cruelty free and vegan is what this is under which is their outlast brand and this is going to run around that nine dollars as well so that i thought was really something then there was another one here that i wanted to share with you let me just get to my notes there was something from dior but i shared with you this one this one, because it was drugstore, I thought it was really interesting. This is going to be their from their True Match line. It's going to be a Radiant Serum Eye Concealer that's made with 1.5% hyaluronic acid and caffeine. And the applicator is what caught my eye with the pointed tip. So I thought that was really cool. And that flat surface, that so many brushes that are coming out now that uh, I think BK Beauty had one. I was able to pick a couple up uh, on um, Amazon and I was also able to pick up one or two from uh, Ipsy in the brush area where they're calling it almost like the paw. And that is what this reminded me of. And I thought that was really smart to come out with an applicator that was like that. And this is where they're saying skincare meets makeup in one swipe. It corrects like a concealer. It will hydrate like an eye serum and provide instant dark circle coverage, visibly depuffing our eye bags and helping iron out our fine lines. They're saying it's going to be lightweight, crease resistant formula. And like I mentioned, it had hyaluronic acid and caffeine in here. And they're saying that will give you, they're saying 24 hour hydration and all day wear. But it was the flat tip. Uh, it looks almost like an iron applicator that will instantly brighten. And they're saying it can also be used for highlighting and also contouring. And it's going to be available in a lot of shades. And it's good for sensitive skin because it is fragrance free. And it is also going to be um, uh, vegan as well. 
Then there was another new launch from Glamlight, but it was uh, all these really bright colors. I find Glamlight to be such an exciting brand to be able to uh, put a smile on my face whenever these launches come out. This time around, it, she did a fantastic job over Halloween with all of these other type of, but it was all these dark and dooming colors. But the fact that she had Scooby-Doo and now the newest one is gonna be Garfield. So I think those are always fun. To, to see about, but they're not, they're usually not ones that I actually purchase for myself, but I thought that was something I wanted to make sure to share that you guys should know about Glamlight coming out with something new. Then I have another one here. Um, Gavinci on TikTok is huge that a lot of people are carrying that and they're coming out with also some beautiful new spring collections. Those usually all get launched in January. But this was on, and then the next slide was what started me starting to take the pictures because it's been a while since something really caught my eye, and two of these did. This one for sure, this Fat Oil by NYX, this is a new addition to their Fat Oil family. Their Fat Oil is one that I treated myself to, and it is great, but we also get a lot of those type of products, very similar to in Ipsy. So I bought it more out of curiosity, but when I saw the applicator and everything in it and the lip oil, I already have so many of those from other lines that we get from Ipsy. But this reminded me of one of my favorite products from Tarte, which is the Maracuja line. So this is probably supposed to be similar to, like they call them dupes, I guess, of because I haven't seen anyone else come out with something like this besides Tarte. And with Tarte, they're constantly expanding this line of their Maracuja lips. They were very much a bomb at first, then they came out with a lipstick one, then they came out with another one that I have a picture of that is on my list now. So I'm just waiting for the next big sale that Tarte's going to have to kind of try that one out. But this is going to be a one from the drugstore from NYX, which is another brand that to me is on the Milani level. And this one has a, it's called the um, Fat Oil Slick Click. Then that's when I said, if they're doing the click pen, that is to me like the Maracuja. And then they also have levels on NYX where I guess if you buy a lot from their platform, they have a platinum level, which reminds me so much of Ulta, that you're able to get in on some of their early launches, which I'm sure a lot of girls that have channels probably do that, or they get PR. But this really caught my eyes. And this is also only $11, where the Maracujas run around that 20 plus number so it's like half the price so this one's also coming in a lot of colors everything from soft baby pink to all the way down to a you know the flamingo pink so it has all those colors in between but they're saying it's going to be an affordable version for the clickable lip balms so that one really caught my attention so then when i put that on my wants list a couple days later, this came out and this blew my mind because it took my favorite product from Tarte, the Maracuja, up a notch. And especially for this time of year where all the glitter and glam comes out. And this one is their new Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, now with a shimmering finish. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump Shimmering Glass Duo Chrome Pearls that will drench your lips in a veil of shimmering and multi-dimensional shine with zero glitter. It will give you plumper, smoother, juicier looking lips in seconds. They're saying it has a, cush a Cushion Comfort XL Complex with moisturizing hyaluronic acid plus those 10 superfruits. When I shared with you some spoilers, when the Maracuja lip was finally going to be at Ipsy, I shared with you so much information on Tarte as well as the superfruits that they put into their products. And this is going, this is currently available because I already put it in my cart on the Tarte website. I'm just waiting for a, a bigger sale to come up because we're getting to the time of year where we're going to be seeing a lot of new launches. And also that means that a lot of sales are going to come at the same time. And that's usually what I find happens simultaneously come January. There also was a new shade with Fenty, which I did not know about. So I wanted to make sure that you guys did. And this one's going to be called Candy Soda. This is a universal lip luminizer. And they're saying it's a shimmery rose pink. And it will make your lips look instantly fuller. It's non-sticky formula. 
that's super shiny and has an irresistible peach vanilla scent. And this is going to run around $21. So that one I thought was fantastic. And they are doing this as part of um, a foundation that uh, if you buy this with a makeup bag and things like that, 35% of every purchase of those two together are going to go to the Clara Lionel Foundation. So I thought that was interesting to take one of her iconic lips and give it a certain color to be able to help uh, with a foundation, which I thought was really amazing. But I did not hear Hear anything about it at all so I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it as well and then let me see what else I have here I think I have another one here yeah this was one that uh, is a new launch that is with um, that is through Merit a lot of people in PR I saw open this up the colors are very deep but it's also uh, one that is in collaboration with Bailey and she's very much into these dark beautiful very seductress type of grungy type of colors and they did a whole launch so it's a collaboration with her and the brand which i thought was very interesting and i'm sure that a lot of people that are uh, you know big followers of bailey saran but we have also had other um launches where she's done collaborations with ipsy because one of her first jobs was with ipsy so this one is where if you want uh, the uh, whole set this runs around $175, where it comes with the eyeshadow, four lipsticks, two uh, gel eyeliners, and then also two glitters, and also that really cute uh, heart bag. And then they also have a Deadly Kiss Mini Lip uh, Lip liquid lipstick set and that is $25 but that is not in this picture but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it and I thought that was really really interesting and then we have the one that uh that this surprised me too because one of my favorite drugstore mascaras is the um this sky high and that surprised me that it was coming in colors now so that I did not know about so I wanted to make sure that you guys knew as well they're saying this mascara will give you volume length and to your lashes which it does and it's a flexible brush that captures all your lashes even the smallest and it stretches them which it so does and it's because this has a formula that is enriched with bamboo and it has also fiber extracts in it but what makes this really fun is the pink one is coming soon the uh, blue one is available currently at Ulta only. And then also the burgundy one is also going to be coming soon. So this is something to keep your eyes open for. And usually come spring, that is when we start seeing uh, a lot of these um, colorful mascaras. There was also a new launch that I didn't take a picture of that is from uh, Tarte. It is going to be their new Amazon Clay Liquid Gem Foundation. I didn't understand the concept. So unless I bought it and tried it, did I figure I should share with you? But if you have, make sure to share it in the comments down below. It came in a pot and I didn't understand because I really like their Amazonian clay, but they were saying it was a liquid gem foundation. So I have another one that is in that type of pot of theirs and it wasn't my favorite, but uh, the before and afters on it I thought were beautiful. But I really, it was one that I, I'm still waiting to see more information. And a lot of times they launch these type of products on QVC. So if I get the opportunity to watch when, when Tarte has something going on, I have an opportunity to watch it. Maybe I'll learn more about it and then I can talk more about it. But it is one that I really don't know enough about. And it didn't catch my eye enough for me to like say, I'm going to take the picture and put it into my camera wheel. And then the other newest launch, which started all this, was this Duck Lips. And when I wrote uh, on their Instagram, I was like, when I saw this being launched, I thought this was the perfect name for it because we've been calling it Duck Lips Forever when a lot of the girls were getting the injections. And this is also one of those, and Milani has one now also, where this has that sting to it that actually will give you that high gloss pigment, but it also has that spice in it that will actually feel like almost you're injecting your lips. So to me, the best way to explain this type of pain, I guess is the right way to say it, is with the Too Faced. And when I tried that one, it was one that the extreme I really had trouble with, but the regular one I was able to handle. But now that I'm starting to see it in drugstore, 
it's like I was shocked that this is now becoming this extreme plumping is something that is like taking the forefront. So when I saw that, I thought that was really, I wanted to make sure to share it with you. And then the um, Adele coming out with this, I heard on the Beauty News, and it is something that I wanted to share with you also, that she now has trademarked a brand that is called Sherborn Collection. It's not called Adele, but it is her brand and is coming out with her own beauty brand. And there was a trademark, there was a trademark filing. It was mentioned on uh, Entertainment Tonight. And then I started to see it on Instagram as well. But it's going to include eyeshadows and it's going to have uh, also eyeliners, lipsticks, lip balms. But it also had body care. It also had lotions. It had perfumes. It had jewelry, watches. Uh, clothing it had everything but from my understanding from what they explained on um i forget where i read about it that when um a, a star or a celebrity sets up a trademark they want to trademark the, everything from you know the moon to the sun because they want to make sure that it's all covered under what they are putting in under that trademark so if they decide to do any of this they already have it all trademarked so it doesn't mean she's coming out with all of that but we will have to keep our eyes on it because her makeup is always so, to me, on point. So I'm very excited about it, but it's a name that we're gonna have to remember called Shelbourne Collective. So that is not gonna be called Adele, it is gonna be called that. And then uh, that was it, the, that was everything that I put in here. But I also wanted to thank a couple of people because I there's a new button that's underneath that is called Thanks. And I activated it because a couple of people were always writing to me, how could they uh, donate money to the channel? Why don't I have a PayPal? Why don't I have a buy me coffee? All of that. And I said, you know what? There's a thanks button that's on the bottom under each every video. So if you ever want to contribute to the channel, and I think it starts as low as $1.99. So there's two people that have already uh, done this, and, and I want to thank them so much uh, publicly because... I didn't, I, I, I always had this channel was to share information and for you guys to have a community here where you guys can share back solely about the brands, the products and the deals, not about the drama, not about the outside world, simply about things that are, could be considered a luxury to so many, but to me brings me so much joy. But the fact that we have a community here at True Wants where we can share with each other that to me is fantastic but there is as i've mentioned a large cost to having a channel and the amount that gets paid through the ads because i don't use a lot of affiliate links i do have the rakuten link that i share with you guys where you get 30 dollars and i get 30 dollars but i had been using Rakuten before I had the channel. It was a way for me to show you guys how you would be able to get cash back from a legitimate company without doing anything except shopping. So when I saw that there was a link, it's it was a link that I always had, but be having the channel enabled me to be able to share it with you guys. So I wanted to either set up where you can join a membership that would also only be a dollar ninety nine if you wanted to contribute to the channel. But I can't and I don't want to do any other um, content that is exclusive to others if others can't afford or don't want to pay for content. I want this channel to be something that we all can enjoy together. And if you're able to contribute to the channel, then through the thanks button, that is a nice way that you'll be able to do that. Another person that was actually the first person to do it is this person and it's Lady Kalina. And I wanna thank her so much also because when I saw this, I was shocked with how I felt inside. It was not only a thank you for what that you guys, when you share in the comments, but when somebody took a little bit out and took $2 and said, you know what? I'm really enjoying your content. I have saved so much money with you guys. I have learned so much from True Wants. I just want to say thank you. That's what the thanks button is there for. So please share with me if having the thanks button is enough and if you're able to, you'll use it. Or if you think I should have a join membership that will be for a dollar ninety nine and it's only to be able to easily give a monthly dollar ninety nine to the channel to help with 
if purchasing items for the channel or giveaways, helping with the shipping, because right now I'm leaning very heavily when it comes to my giveaways on a family member, my brother, who is a partner in another business with me to help be able to pay for a lot for the channel. So I was just thinking about it. I wanna make sure to put it out there in the community if you think I should set up that join button or if it is something that uh, you just want me to leave it with the thanks menu and the button down below. And if you're able to, that is how you will do it. So it's either that you can you know, use that button when you want or to be set up as a monthly fee that if you want to join, you can. And if not, that is fine too. So I want to make sure that I share that information with you guys and then you would be able to share in the comments. But as always, I appreciate so much when you guys take any time out of your day that you spend it with me. And more importantly, that you share in the comments down below because that to me is our community where we get to learn from each other and we get to share with each other where you also have a voice. But I really want to also make it very clear that this channel is solely about a happy place to come and to learn and to be more informed so that if and when you want to purchase something or join a subscription box that I pay for and that I've been enjoying, that I want to make sure that you guys have that information up front and then you're able to also share that information within the community, which is our comments down below. So to everybody that is taking the time to watch, thank you. To everybody who has taken the time to write in the comments. I appreciate that more than you know, and I try my best to respond to every single one of them. And also we have that huge giveaway going on that's gonna be ending at the end of this month. So if you haven't signed up for that, that will be in the description box as well. Please share with me if you also want this type of video as well, besides the subscription boxes. Nothing that I'm doing is gonna stop. This is just something that I was always doing behind the scenes for myself, and I'm putting it out there to see if this is the type of content that would make you happy as well. And I'll know by the views, but I also wanna know by the people that think this is a great uh, new thing to add to the channel. I would love to know that as well. And once again, if you enjoy the content, there is that thanks button right underneath the video. And I appreciate it so much when you are able to contribute to the channel that way as well. And that's it for this video, guys. So everybody continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in the next one. And again, if you've watched this all the way to the end, leave in the comments, TW, oh, what should we make it? TW, uh, coming soon. How's that? All right. Okay. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.